So at the base, there's 256 kilowatt hours of battery storage, battery power underneath the deck. So battery on wheels is where we start. And then we start to build capability and options on top of that. So we can add another 256 kilowatt hours on top for a little over 500. Mobile generator, power, 120 volts, 240 volts, pull it in, people plug in, disaster preparedness, you can go in four feet of water uh, and make it available at that point. Now you bring on the flexibility. So with the symmetrical design, with our partners, Hauer, three point hitch on, on the one end, arms on the other, you can put a front loader, you can put a backhoe, put a parking lot sweeper, any kind of device, you know, there's 250 different types of attachments that basically anything that's associated with the skid steer can be put on this vehicle. All right, okay. As we come around, the interesting thing is 80% of this vehicle is pre-made, well-known manufactured parts. So Dana axles, we got BMW batteries, Parker Hannafin hydraulics, okay, UQM motor. This vehicle weighs anywhere from 15 to 20,000 pounds, depending upon how it's configured. And then it has a towing capacity at the base of about 600,000 towing pounds. Right. Here you got the three-point hitch as an example. Now we have different clients that have different use cases. So we have a utility company in Southern uh, California that put the 500 uh, power on the unit. And then on, on this end of the vehicle, they put one DC fast charger, and then they put one level two charger. And okay. they did the reverse on the other side. So now when they're doing their rolling blackouts, they literally will take this unit to the neighborhood and offer their consumers power to, you know, fill up their EV 50, 100 miles. They need to, you know, they can literally plug into their grid into, the, into, a, into a block yeah. and give people three or four hours worth That's of power fantastic. while they're doing things. Okay, fantastic. Four wheel steering. So both, you can drive from the front or the back, whatever, symmetrical once again. Um, we do offer crab walk capability with the vehicle. All right. We start driving the vehicle by a remote control. So it's military grade remote control, one, one mile line of sight that has all the controls for the hydraulics and the driving maneuverability of the vehicle. And then we can add things like a um, open air cab or a closed cab on top of the unit and controls. Then the, one of the interesting things with this, if you look at the height of this vehicle, this is the same as a loading dock. So one of Gary's thoughts and in the, in the deliberate innovation of the product is, you could pull this up to a loading dock, somebody with a disability could roll with their wheelchair in, get into our cab because it's a side door cab entrance, get into the vehicle and it's all controlled by arms. Just a small little detail. So oh, brilliant, right? yeah. That goes on. Brilliant. Such a great design. Symmetrical, you can kind of configure, you know, both ends the way you want. Additional hydraulics here. Tow hitch as an example here. And this is where, you know, you can put a cab right in the center and put the arms like with the front loader on it. Perfect. Okay. All right. Standard with the unit. We've got one that comes with it. we got a level two charger. So this will go into your EV. You put the Tesla adapter on it. You can charge up your Tesla. You know, we've got the electric 120s, 240s. We can charge a unit in a couple ways. We can just basically charge a unit in level two or we also have DC right now. In future models, and I mean future this year, we'll have the ability for 43 phase. Okay. So we can plug directly into the grid. Oh, yeah, there so you we'll go. be able to charge this unit probably in about two hours. Okay. Um, now, two to three hours. Further into 2022, we'll actually be able to export power into the grid as well. Perfect.